Hey everyone, welcome to my Q&A. Thank you guys so much for your questions. Uh, I just wanted to keep them going and try to get these videos out as often as I possibly can. And as long as there's content, I'm gonna put it out. So thank you for watching and thank you for your questions and your support and your likes. So Let's just not lose focus of the Catherine McManua trial and and the focus on the Dan Markell murder is just, it's so important because justice for this case, it just seems so slow. And so let's be those eyes and ears and keep those comments rolling, keep the interest up. So Donna Stewart, thank you so much for your questions, Donna. I've got a couple of them here. So she asks, why is Wendy off the hook? And I think that it might seem like the last trial Wendy had that immunity that none of her testimony would be used against her. So she has been super cooperative with the state and of course they kind of love her because she's a lawyer and super smart about skirting around any kind of involvement or being really careful to not say anything super incriminating except when they ask her about her brother. You know, she has been pretty forthcoming and honest that, you know, he did have the bad joke and it wasn't in the best taste and he did tend to joke and she's pretty honest about that but that seems like it's going to be her defense and we'll see if the state kind of goes after her like they did in this last trial which they kind of the drive by a lot and they talked some of her involvement that you know things that kind of tie her to the crime so that was that was kind of confusing so i mean i don't think she's off the hook yet she's definitely still a person of interest next question is from gia Ramirez. i did they give Wendy immunity. Is she still a suspect? He's referring to the last trial. To piggyback on that last question of her immunity. I think it was like not the most powerful kind of immunity. It was more like a immunity for a day. You know, tell us what you know and we won't use these facts against you later. So it's kind of a slippery slope. I think that they can use these facts against her, but I'm sure that in her own trial, they could probably use just the evidence against her. So, you know, while she was acting pretty proper and like she got away with murder on the stand, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to use those clips or quips that she said, like, you know, the state's not going to arrest me. So they're not going to be able to use it on trial, but you know, the evidence pretty much could be used against her you know the drive-by on Trescott or uh, her changing the kids names or any of the evidence like in my other videos like Wendy's evidence or um, Wendy's alibis which are, there's so many alibis it's kind of like a, a double negative the Best Buy appointment not saying that she's guilty but let's just kind of take a look at that so Donna Stewart asked another question um, about the Jeffrey Lacoste video. She says, doesn't this indicate Wendy had knowledge of the murder? And I guess she's referring to the comment that Wendy made to Jeffrey about her family wanted to pay 50 or 15,000, 15 or $50,000 for the murder of Dan. And, you know, I think that she's going to probably till the day she dies to say that that was a joke that her brother joked she never thought it would happen you know we never know what defense that um her brother is going to use but i i assume it'll be a similar one like it was a joke and catherine and sigfredo went on a wild goose chase and just did the murder themselves or something we don't know yet but this could indicate some knowledge of the murder i don't know exactly what you could be charged with if you knew about it i mean obviously they're not charging jeffrey lacoste and he knew about that um joke or the murder plan too and they're they're kind of not convicting him he's cooperating with police so jonathan unger asks didn't katie have an opportunity for immunity in the beginning i responded to jonathan and said thank you looking at some of katie's trial paperwork and the state claims no immunity deals for Catherine. Furthermore, she and her defense are not allowed to claim alleged immunity deals were on the table. And I share these documents in the video, um, alleged immunity deals for Catherine. So, you know, I guess what they're talking about is like plea deals. Like if she were to plead guilty that she might be able to get some time shaved off for, you know, talking about any involvement immunity wouldn't be given to Catherine the state has said no immunity has been given obviously um we would know about that but as far as like a plea deal if she were to plead guilty i mean sure she could 
probably get a lesser time if she pled guilty. So that's that's totally different. So watch the video, Catherine's alleged immunity deals. And I I uncovered some documents that hopefully my layperson analysis can help you guys understand what I found. Prester John is the next question. Thank you, Prester, for the next question. And he just kind of affirms that what everyone else has been finding that like Catherine's lawyer, Christopher DeCoste is in the same law firm or same office as Charlie's lawyer, David Oscar Marcus. And so he said same law firm and um, it's, it's not the same law firm. I did some research and I said, I replied to him, I said, I think the two law firms are separate, but on the same floor. Christopher DeCoste has his own criminal trial practice and David Oscar Marcus has a white collar crime practice in the same penthouse, similar to Wendy's lawyer who also focuses on white collar crime, which leads me to think that all of their defense theories could be something creative, like on DeCoste and Marcus's bio. All of them have this like bio that says like creative or you know they like to use creativity to get people out of trouble maybe i'm just speculating so jay sheffield asked why hasn't Catherine taken the deal so i said allegedly the state hasn't given her any immunity deals so far there is a court document out there and i post it on this video Catherine's alleged immunity deals although if she were to plead guilty like Luis Rivera, then she could possibly get less jail time for her knowledge of what happened. It's a misconception she was offered any deals. And I, I said I wish she would talk. Yeah, we, we all wish she would talk, but you know, she said she's afraid for her safety or she's not in the witness protection program like some of the other um, viewers have said in comments. And you know, let's just sit tight and, and wait for her to talk. Um, you know, she's probably not going to plead guilty anytime soon. You know, time will tell, time will tell. So, uh, just thank you guys so much for the questions. It seems like there's a lot of questions about Catherine's, uh, why won't she talk? And a lot of questions about Wendy is Wendy still a suspect. And uh, I think all of the questions are so great. You guys, let's keep them coming in and please watch my newest video series, which is who is a mastermind. And I have part one is Catherine Sigfredo and Lewis. And I kind of dissect six different evidence pieces. And then I'm going to do another one with the Adelsons, Charlie, Charlie, Donna, and Wendy, and we talk about about 10 different evidence pieces. So I'll be working on those and the next Q&A for next week. So thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.